In this problem, which is BC 2007 form B, number 5, we want to consider the differential equation dy dx is equal to 3x plus 2y plus 1. And part A asks us to find the second derivative in terms of x and y. So for this, we are going to take the derivative of both sides. So d squared y over dx squared is equal to the derivative of 3x is 3, the derivative of 2y is 2y prime, or dy dx, and the derivative of 1 is 0. Now we can't leave it in that form, but we can swap out the dy dx for the original 3x plus 2y plus 1, and we get 3 plus 2 times 3x plus 2y plus 1, Multiplying out, we get 3 plus 6x plus 4y plus 2. And finally, 6x plus 4y plus 5. And so that is the second derivative in terms of x and y. Now we'll go on to part b. And in part b, we're asked to find the values of the constants m, b, and r, for which y equals mx plus b plus e to the rx is a solution to the differential equation. Now this may look a little intimidating at the beginning, uh, but there are two definite strategies or steps that we can take to break this down. First of all, we're given the derivative dy dx is 3x plus 2y plus 1, and we're given a function y equals mx plus b plus e to the rx, which is a solution to that differential equation. Therefore, we know that dy dx means we can take the derivative of the solution, and we come up with m <clears throat> the derivative of mx is just m, the derivative of b is 0, and the derivative of e to the rx using the chain rule is r e to the rx. So that's one thing we know. And second of all, we know that, of course, since y equals mx plus b plus e to the rx is a solution, we can substitute that for y in the original. So if dy dx in the given is 3x <coughs> plus 2y, instead we can put mx plus b plus e to the rx in place of y plus 1. Now we know that these two have to be equal to each other. The right side equation we can simplify out to be 3x plus 2mx plus 2b plus 2e to the rx plus 1. And what we're going to do is we're going to set these two equal to each other. So <clears throat> m plus re to the rx has to equal 3x plus 2mx and I'll just slightly rewrite this with 2b plus 1 together, then plus 2e to the rx. <coughs> now when we write it in this way, we can also factor out an x here to get 3 plus 2m plus 2b plus 1 plus 2e to the rx. We know that the equation on the right, or the expression on the right, has to equal the expression on the right, on the left, sorry. <clears throat> Which means that this has to equal r e to the rx, and this has to equal m, and since there is no x term, that means we have 0x and we put it all together to say that the right side would be 0x plus m plus r e to the rx. Given that, we do know then that 
3 plus 2m has to equal 0, and so 2m is negative 3, and m is negative 3 halves. We also know that m has to equal 2b plus 1, and since m is negative 3 halves, which is 2b plus 1, <coughs> subtract the 1, and we'll get negative 5 halves is 2b, and so b would be equal to negative 5 fourths. And finally, since 2e to the rx has to equal re to the rx, then r is simply 2. Now again, this assumes that r is not equal to 0. And in this particular problem, if you had answered it this way, you would get full credit for that with these answers. m is equal to negative 3 halves, b is equal to negative 5 fourths, and r is equal to 2. If, however, we did assume, or we check to see whether r would be equal to 0, what would happen in that case? Well, we have the same equation to begin with. We have m plus r e to the r x is equal to, and I'll continue to write it um, in the factored form that we already had on the other side, 3 plus 2 m x plus 2 b plus 1 plus 2 e to the rx. <clears throat> well, in the event that r was equal to 0, then the left side would just become m. And the right side would become 3 plus 2m times x plus 2b plus 1 plus 2. Or m would equal 3 plus 2m times x plus 2b plus 3. And so, since this is just equal to m, and there's no x term, once again, 3 plus 2m would have to equal 0, and 2b plus 3 would equal m. Given that, we solve, and we get the same as we got before, 3 plus 2m equals 0, so 2m is negative 3, and m is negative 3 halves. <clears throat> then m is equal to 2b plus 3, which means negative 3 halves is equal to 2b plus 3. We subtract 3, or negative 6 halves, from both sides, and we end up with negative 9 halves is 2b, or that b is negative 9 fourths. Finally, we assume that r was equal to 0 in that case. So we could have come up with either set of these answers, and if we, either one of them would have been correct. And uh, it is a little tricky, but this, the strategies of finding the derivative of the solution y and plugging the y back in for y in the differential equation, these are two very important strategies that can be employed here. All right, so we'll stop this video at this point, and we'll go on to parts C and D in the next video.